Welcome to Mile High Rafers. I'm Scott Anderson and it's Saturday and I'm working. I'm currently at Aquamedic Live. So we'll take a couple minutes, we'll walk through, we'll talk a little bit about, about what's going on here and then we'll go ahead and go home and I'll give you guys a quick update on everything going on with my personal tanks. To make my life easy since this is Saturday and I'm working an extra day, I'm gonna do everything vlog style, not a lot of editing, we're just gonna have fun. So this week at Aquamedic, we got two orders in. We got Australia and we got Vietnam. We got a lot of cool stuff, but I wanna show you one thing that I think is really cool. And here it is. It's an entire frag table full of Vietnam zoanthins. And they look amazing. There's so many really cool zoanthids in here. Now you'll notice I have a full frag table full of zoanthids. The reason is, is when these come in, they need to be cured. They have lots of little sponges and they grow all over these little clams that come in and they inevitably foul the water. And we really have to treat these and work hard because these can end up growing this kind of white fungusy stuff on them which can smother the zoanthids. So they take a lot of water changes and a lot of work. But as you can see, the results are amazing. These have been here about four days now and they're looking really, really good. It's the end of the day, it's time to go home. So I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna buy myself a coral. As you guys know, my tank's pretty full so I gotta be pretty selective on what I buy. But I think what I'm gonna get, you'll think is pretty cool. So I've made it home and here's the tank in its full glory. I've still got the nine tangs in there. Everything's doing really well. Uh, you'll see a couple scrapes and scuffs on some of the fish, but for the most part, everything is doing really well. I was having a few problems with alkalinity, and I would say everything's pretty well balanced out now. We'll talk more about that later. But the coral seem to be responding pretty well. This one here is the only one showing signs of stress still. It's a little lighter colored than it should be, but for the most part, it looks really good. The rest of the monies look fantastic. My rose bubble tip continues to move around and is causing me problems. Now, I don't have to worry about him actually overflowing anything there because I've got two returns that are way over plumb for the amount of drainage I need. My Euphilia garden on the left of the tank continues to just rock it. It's doing incredibly well and looks fantastic. My bubble coral is insane. That thing is so big, but it is kind of a problem. You'll see the sweepers coming off. So that Duncan's colony has got to move, but I love that big bubble right there. It looks amazing. Next to it is my fox coral. I love the fox coral. It's big, it's beautiful, it's exactly what you want. And the <clears throat> Euphilia garden on the right side of the tank is doing pretty well. That gold one I tried to save, it has died. It needs pulled out. Um, I've got a cyanarina on the bottom. That's relatively new. Um, I still have those flatworms. You can kind of see them on this toadstool right now since the polyps are pulled in. Toadstool's doing great. It just pulls polyps in once in a while. It's just kind of how it goes. The big clam looks beautiful. It's amazing. But ever since I took that big bubble coral out, I really haven't liked the right side of this tank. It's just not flowing right for me. So I've got something to replace this Sinulara. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this Sinulara out, put the new coral in, and then we'll come back tomorrow. We'll talk more about how the rest of the tanks are doing, what the filtration's going on, what kind of changes have happened. But as far as livestock's going, it looks really good. Let's talk about the filtration. So a few changes have happened down here. I took the calcium reactor off and put the Reef Doser by Aquamedic on here. It's working really well so far. It's just sitting on a bucket with a couple mason jars. I need to make this a little tidier and nicer and get some bigger jars, but it's working really well. Calcium, alkalinity, everything's stabling out just like we want it. The big Aqua Sea skimmer always just kicks ass, but as you can tell, it needs clean. And then the big problem I had was with my main return pump. This big reef flow 
Baldor pump quit on me about two weeks ago. I woke up and my pump was down. It wasn't running at all, which wasn't as big of a deal as it might sound like. So I've got my system set up so that all I had to do was close this valve, open this valve, open this valve, and open that valve, plug in the old Panworld pump, and I was running. I had a backup return pump within 10 minutes of me realizing that my pump was down. I had it running, which was fantastic. It saved me a lot. I sent the reflow pump in to reflow for warranty. It's been two and a half years and it was still under warranty. So it just cost me the price of shipping to get it fixed. So those guys did a great job. The pump came back looking like brand new. I'm really happy with the way that went. Because of my backup pump, something that should have been a problem just wasn't, and reflow was awesome to work with. As far as the frag tanks go, they're doing well, but they're neglected. They need some cleanup crew to really help with some of the problems in here. There's a little bit of Aptasia, there's a little bit of algae, there's some bubble algae, so I just need to up my cleanup crew to get rid of all of that, but it's really doing pretty well. I'm growing more money than I can give away, and I've got just tons of just random stuff. The 24 gallon nano continues to just kill it. The Akamai lighting is just giving me the best results with my corals. The Akamai pump is giving me the flow I need and the corals show it. They're super bright and pretty and everything's just doing really well in this tank. So I've got three new fish and these are Vietnamese cowfish and they're doing really well in this tank. Um, I got three of them, I didn't order three of them, but that is kind of how it works when you order stuff directly from the collector. You'll put your order in and they kind of send you what they want to send you. But three cowfish is really cool. So far they're all doing really well together. They're in quarantine with a dose of copper and they are doing really well. Now, copper is something that you guys might not think you'd want to dose on a cowfish, but in my experience with cowfish, these guys are super ick magnets because they're a skin fish like a tang. So you just gotta dose these guys with copper in my opinion. And so far these guys are taking the treatment really well. And here's my new coral. It's a really bright green Cinularia. Now under the super blue lights, it is really, bright fluorescent green. So the goal is to get this coral to fill this area, really kind of fill it in with this bright green Cinularia. My tank has grown Cinularia really quickly in the past. We'll see how this strain of it does. And then it leaves me a bunch of sand down here where I can fill in some pretty cool coral. I'm thinking like big Acanthophilia, something like that. And then I've got this big wall section here that's now open up for the time being that I can fill in with a bunch more cool corals. All right, and here's the big display. Sunday morning, right after the lights came on, and it's looking really good. Not fully open yet, but as you can see, the tank continues to do really well. I'm super happy with it, and I'm looking forward to get some new corals in this tank. Thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.